Landfall. The first wave of oil spilled into Louisiana's Chandelier Islands. Locals call them the Cajun Bahamas. Pristine wetlands poisoned by rusty colored oil. This image drives response efforts here. Today, BP got ready to lower this steel and concrete box four stories tall and nearly 100 tons. Engineers hope it will cover a leak a mile underwater and funnel oil to a surface ship. But no one's ever tried it at this depth. By seaplane this morning, we went back into the Gulf and saw rolling ribbons of oil, some that looked a mile long, approaching the chandeliers. Oh, wow, this is not good. Despite frantic efforts to stop them. Oh, yeah, it's everywhere. Down below, shrimp boats with absorbent booms looked mismatched against approaching slicks. As the spill floats out here in the Gulf, moving toward land, it changes over time, becomes less toxic and more sticky. Eventually, it becomes like tar and clings to almost anything. That stickiness becomes the big threat to marshland and wildlife. This is a, a very valuable uh, opportunity to see some of the oil. We gave this bottle of spilled crude to Ed Overton, an oil spill expert at LSU. On Tuesday, we scooped the sample from a slick out in the Gulf. Tests in Overton's lab confirmed that two weeks in the Gulf had diluted the oil's toxicity but he sees the other hazard. As this oil moves closer, it's, it looks to me like it's gonna to stick to everything. As BP burned off more oil today, environmentalists worry about the unseen damage, all the marine life that swims near the surface. And with another 200,000 gallons pouring into the Gulf, it's like battling a new oil spill every day. BP has also fought the leak with more than 160,000 gallons of chemical dispersants. Molecules in the dispersants attach to the oil and break up its density. The oil droplets then sink to the ocean floor. But dispersants include toxic chemicals, so toxic critics say they do more harm than the oil itself. Just because we don't see dead birds on the beaches doesn't mean that we don't have a serious wildlife problem. Late today, Interior Secretary Ken Salazar said that companies involved with last month's oil rig explosion had made, quote, very major mistakes and that BP's life was very much on the line. A complete safety review is underway and Salazar says the federal government will issue no new offshore drilling permits for at least the next three weeks. Katie? Mark Strassman reporting tonight from Venice, Louisiana.